Hi everybody and welcome to this lesson on how to set your grip position for your palletizing solution. This step is critical to obtain a stable palletizing process. A misaligned box can cause collision between the boxes and stop the palletizing sequence. Let's learn how to make sure your grip pose is well tough together. To be able to reproduce the steps that will be explained, make sure to mount the air pick gripper with the right configuration. Select the right suction cups bracket and if necessary, mount the extra reach gripper bracket. Be careful, the tool center point or TCP must be set correctly prior setting the pick position. You can find this information in the product manual. The TCP Z offset must be set such as the TCP is on the top of the box once grip like shown here. Using the palletizer knob, click on the box section, then enter the dimension of your box as well as its payload. Remember which side of the box is the A dimension. Click on set grip position. A good way to determine the box's dimension is to measure the real pallet side and divide by the number of boxes. If some boxes are perpendicular, stack some boxes next to each other in the same direction, measure the length and divide by the number of boxes. Position your box at its grip location. In our case, we will place it at the end of the conveyor leaning on the guide rail. Then, using the teach pendant, move the robot so the air pick is near the box. Rotate the air pick to align the side A of the box with the wrist connector of the robot and make it parallel to the box. If you are using an E-series robot or a CB-series with FT sensor, open the active drive functions on the top right of the teach pendant and use the rear end button to move the gripper parallel to the box. Move the gripper with the arrows in the Move tab of the Teach Pendant and place it as close as possible to the center of the box. We suggest to use a measuring tape to center the gripper over the box. Once you are satisfied with the gripper position, save it. One way to test the centering of the grip pose is to pick the box with the gripper Lift it up, move it 180 degrees around the Z axis of the TCP, and then putting it down again. If the box comes down at the exact same position, it is well centered. If there is an offset, measure it and divide it by two to know by how much to move the pick point to center it. To ensure that your taut grip position is correct, we recommend to test it. Start the program so the robot will place a few boxes on the pallet. Once a few boxes are on the pallet, stop the program and verify that they are correctly positioned. If yes, the taut position was good and you are now ready to pass to the next steps of the integrate phase of your solution. If not, a fine tuning of the grip position is necessary. For an orientation modification, stop the robot program when it is in the release node before the box is released. Note the value of the angle of joint number 6, reorient the box so that it is properly aligned, and note the new value of the joint number 6. Subtract the second value of the first, we now know the orientation error. Return on the grip pose setup and modify the orientation. If you have turned the box to the right, you must turn the grip pose to the left to correct the error. Now you are ready to go. You now know how precisely you teach the grip position of the robotic palletizing solution. Hope you found this helpful 
and see you next time to continue your integration project.